Okay guys, here's one thing I think you'll find very interesting. This is some medical grade latex. This is not the stuff that detects heroin cells, but it is uh, from uh, kentelastomers. It's essentially the same stuff, but uh, not quite. It's, it's just a couple of feet per second. Not as good, but it's, uh, it's similar enough. This is an infrared thermometer. <clears throat> it has a very fast sampling rate, something like 100 samples per second. It's a very, very good one. I use this to identify uh, uh, injuries and stuff in my greyhounds. That's one of the things I can tell if they're really injured or if they're just being a baby or not. Anyway, you take your latex here, set it up. This uh, simply has an eye in front of it, and anything that goes in front of the eye, it'll measure the uh, it'll measure the temperature of it. So that my hand, as you see, is uh, 92 point. Five. It's, it, it moves. It varies because my hand itself is is uh, it has it pulses with blood through it, and it warms up and cools down and so forth. Uh, this is a max hold function. You put the max hold function on here, and it'll measure the maximum that any temperature is. So uh, if I make my hands hotter by doing that, it'll automatically measure the difference in temperature. Like that is only a degree hotter. <clears throat> okay, so you have your latex here. You measure the temperature of your latex as being uh, 78, we'll say 78 and a half degrees, okay? Alright. We get a get a good yank on it here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the maximum maximum temperature that it gets. Off of, off of a complete, full, absolute maximum stretch. Okay, and as you see, on a, uh, on a day like this, that's a reasonable temperature, where it's about 78 degrees out here, this latex starting out at about 78 and a half degrees went to 74.9. So, uh, you're talking about about a six degree six and a half degrees jump in the temperature is all. Each degree translates to approximately one and a half feet per second when uh, you're using three-eighths inch ammo with this setup. Okay. Again, I'll do it one more time just so you can see. 78, we'll say 78 and a half degrees somewhere in there. Push the max. Max hold, pull it out to the absolute max. Now down there, and it gets up to about a seven degree difference in temperature. There, seven and a, a six and a half to seven degrees difference is what you're going to be able to achieve out of this. Tex Harriman stuff can get uh, well over ten degrees difference, and uh, when you max out, you absolutely max out some of your latexes to where they're just about ready to break, you can get up to around about 10 degrees. Tex Harriman's is still fast at 10 degrees difference, where some of them feel like they're getting a little sloppy where they actually have a lid off at the end. One last time. As you see the day around here, it's around uh, 79 degrees out here. This latex is about 78 and a, 78 and a half ish. Push the max hold. And give it a good pull. We'll do it one more time. Good pull. And you're getting a uh, temperature reading that time of 83.4. Again. And again. 83.4. Last time. We'll measure it one last time here. And it's, it's, this time it's cooler as the beginning because there's a... Because latex when it contracts it gets cooler okay I forgot to set the max on there and that's 84.6 now I'm pulling this so hard it's actually starting to kind of fray right here all right guys that shows you the differences in temperature and latex and what it's really capable of there's, it's not going to spike by like 50 degrees or some, some kind of crazy crap like that. It'll do up to around 10 degrees, and that, that translates to around 15 feet per second 
And then what's the other interesting thing about that is too, when it gets up to a certain temperature, let me show you this other thing here on the end of this video here. Uh, when it goes up, it, it, it dissipates over time. It, take, it takes a little bit of time for it to dissipate that, that uh, temperature out of it too. It doesn't just automatically go from a, from 84.6 down to 78 and you know and, and nothing flat it does it it takes it takes it takes some time let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm here like this and as you see how long it takes for it to drop it takes time for that thing to drop in temperature now here's an interesting thing you can see how cool the latex gets by like that <laughs> It gets down to 71.2 degrees like that. So the contraction of it is incredible. And the uh, elongation of it, you're going to get around 10 degrees at the, as a maximum. And on the bottom side of it, you're also going to get the same amount on the bottom side as well. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.